Planet Coaster 2's gameplay reveal is on July 31st, and when this video goes live, it will be today on the Frontier Development's YouTube channel. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited to see what Frontier have in store for us. Last week, I asked my subscribers what they'd like to see in Planet Coaster 2 in order to come up with some sort of community wishlist to use as a time capsule. Now, I'm not going to talk about the features that have already been confirmed since I've already made a video on that, so check it out if you haven't already. But for what hasn't yet, here's what you guys had to say. Number 1. Improved Textures and Shadows For this video I wanted to rank our wishlisted features from the most likely to the least likely, and by far the most likely thing to have been suggested is better textures and shadows. Planet Coaster is a 2016 game, so obviously it looks a little dated in some places. I mean, the pigeons look like that. Gotta love them though, they're cute in their own, I woke up like that kind of way. But 8 years later, it's only natural to expect high-res pigeons, am I right? Among other things, of course, but the pigeons are by far the most important. Powerful Efteling suggests better terrain should be a thing, like 3D grass for example, and I agree. In fact, Planet Zoo already has 3D animated grass that even reacts to the wind, and it looks absolutely amazing, so I'm sure such terrain will make its way into Planet Coaster 2. Now, for shadows, it's a little bit hard to say, especially when Bentoka says that he is fed up with having to turn it to night every time he enters a building or a queue. There have definitely been improvements from Planet Coaster to Planet Zoo, and judging from the trailer, I'm sure there will be further improvements in Planet Coaster 2. However, will these improvements help dark rides to become actually dark? Time will tell, I guess, but I sure would love to see this happen. Number 2. Avatars Dragonborn McQueen would like to see his avatar in the game, and while this may seem like a strange request to PC players, you may be surprised to learn that console players did not have avatars in Planet Coaster. In fact, we had to wait until Planet Zoo Console Edition to be able to make our own avatars. Here's my avatar, for instance. Bit thinner than I actually am, not gonna lie, but still a handsome devil with a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Looking good, me. I'm sure avatars will make a comeback, especially given the very social aspect of the Frontier Workshop that will be enhanced by the cross-platform and asynchronous capabilities of the game. I even suspect avatars will be given a whole new purpose in Planet Coaster 2. But I'm only speculating, of course. Number 3. Better Guest Spawning It's no secret that the guest spawn point is not the prettiest facility in Planet Coaster. It's even worse when you know you can't move it out of the spawn tunnel on console. Sure, it forced us to be creative. For instance, I had to make the guest spawn out of the toilet in my ongoing Final Park series Marvelous Realms, but what if we had better spawn points? Lucas Atkins suggests working car parks and bus depots should be a thing, and I love the idea. While they were just skins for spawn points, Planet Zoo already introduced similar ideas with the bus and ferry spawn points. They are obviously not an entire car park or a birth depot system, but it was a step in the right direction already. I don't know if we'll have what Lucas has suggested here, but I'm confident we'll see some more styles of spawn points similar to Planet Zoo at the very least. Number 4. New Animatronics Now it's no secret that animatronics, despite being a welcome addition to Planet Coaster, they all move like they have a stick up there. Oh, that's because they literally do. How'd that get in there? <laughs> well, this explains that. Their limited movements make them really uninteresting, except in very particular situations. So much so that I end up using animatronics to make additional staff members rather than use them for their intended purpose. Now, half my staff have a stick up there. Okay. Last time I make that joke now, get that stick out of your Albris, NH99 and Real Works Pictures would love to see that too, and I've got good news for you. Frontier have teased new animatronic shows on the official Planet Coaster 2 website. Does that mean we could fully personalize our animatronics? Maybe the way we'll be able to customize our rides, and let's dream even further. What if animatronics now work like animation? There is so much potential with what they could do with animatronics in this game, it's exciting to just imagine what they're referring to by animatronic shows. I for one cannot wait to find out, as I am someone who loves trigger sequences. Number 5. Working Restaurants and Hotels A big emphasis in the reveal trailer was the holiday resort theme, and what's in a resort? Restaurants and hotels. Now yes, these have been in Planet Coaster, true. But they looked like this. Ugh. Brother, ugh. what's that? What's that, brother? 
point is, hotels and restaurants deserve an upgrade of some sort. Ironic thinks so too, and NH99 says that he'd like to see restaurants work like they do in Planet Zoo, and I agree. They look absolutely amazing, and being able to see the guests interact with the tables was already a massive improvement compared to the ugly boxes of Planet Coaster. Imagine something as realistic as that in Planet Coaster 2. Or even why not have hotel lobbies for the guests to get their keys and elevators to get them to their rooms? That would be awesome! I've always said I wanted a Planet Resort game, and honestly, if marketing hadn't been a thing, I have a gut feeling Planet Coaster 2 would have been called that instead. Number 6. Special Tracks and Special Stations Unlike what many YouTubers would have you believe, Switch Tracks and Drop Tracks have not been 100% confirmed yet. I wouldn't say it's misinformation, but some of my sources have said that the Frontier representative they had a chat with was not actually sure if they were in the game. So take what you hear on the internet with a grain of salt. That being said, it's safe to assume we're all super excited about the idea of using these in the game. The potential is insane here, and it would completely revolutionize the way we play not only with coasters, but also with other ride types. Lucas Atkins suggests another thing. Constant flow for rapids, and I agree. I can count with less than 10 fingers the real-life rapids I know that have a straight track for their stations. So having circular stations for rapids in order to get that constant flow would be amazing. In fact, let's go even further. Every station type needs work as we simply cannot say that the basic Planet Coaster station is anything pretty to look at. The best things in Planet Coaster are the ones that are fully customizable. And since rides seem to be now, I hope stations will be more customizable than ever too. Number 7. Ride Breakdowns While we're on the subject of rides, something that felt very standard in the original game was the nature of breakdowns. A panel would emit smoke, the mechanic fixes it, and boom, you're ready to go. Real rides simply do not work that way. They are very complex systems of moving parts which must be inspected and maintained and breakdowns are always extremely specific. I recently started playing Parkitect during my breaks and this game always says which part of the ride has broken down. Most of the time it will be the restraints that are stuck and honestly I haven't encountered any other problem yet because I'm such a pro at running parks apparently, but having this amount of specificity makes this feel really immersive and Parkitect is only a low poly game, Planet Coaster 2 would make this even more realistic, which in turn would make improvements on many of its management aspects compared to the first game. Thankfully, Planet Zoo already allowed us to explore way deeper management features, so it's very encouraging to imagine Planet Coaster 2 will have a more in-depth treatment of the management too. Number 8. More interior decorations. I'm not gonna lie, before NH99 mentioned it on the community post, I hadn't even thought about it, but it's true. In the Planet games we have plenty of decorations for the outside, but almost none for the inside. As someone who makes a lot of interiors, I must agree, we need more pieces to use in interiors, even if they're basic. As you can see with this example from my ongoing Final Park series, Marvelous Realms, I've made a gift shop where everything is custom because we don't have any other way of doing these in the base game. And yes, I often say there aren't any problems, only solutions waiting to be invented, but having pieces made for that purpose would be a godsend and would save us a lot on the piece count, because every single one of those t-shirts are seven basic shapes, for instance. Number 9. The Return of the Original Themes Now we enter the unlikely category in my opinion. Having old assets come back to this new game would take a huge amount of work from Frontier because it means translating assets from an old version of the engine to an 8 years newer one. Many people like Arthur Perno would love to continue working on their previous Planet Coaster ideas, but they need pieces from the old game to do so. I don't want to seem pessimistic, this is not the vibe of the channel at all, but be prepared to let them all go. Maybe do what I do with Marvelous Realms, do one final project until the time has come to migrate to Planet Coaster 2. The point is, I think the original game and therefore all of its content will stay where it is and we'll have a whole new set of tools at our disposal for new ideas in Planet Coaster 2. Number 10. Special Seats on Coasters Some coasters in the past few years have implemented new styles of seats to offer guests a different kind of ride experience. I'm of course talking about backwards seats like there used to be on Tonnerre de Zeus at Parc Asterix, 
or spinning seats like Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Chuso Coaster asked the question, what if these were in Planet Coaster 2? Not only would this bring a whole new type of POV experience for our rides, but it would also bring a new interesting feature to the management side of the game, because these are usually paid experiences. Special seats would be a very specific but very awesome addition to this game. And voila! This is what you guys want to see in Planet Coaster 2. I hope you enjoyed this community wishlist. If you want to add anything, you can do so in the comments. And consider subscribing, that way you won't miss the next occasion to be featured in one of these videos powered by my community. This has been Yan, and I'll see you soon for a video on the gameplay reveal of Planet Coaster 2.